rate increases and fees. In the last year, 70 million credit card customers have seen their rates go up. That's one in four. The rate fee hikes for cardholders are $10 billion in counting. Will consumers finally get a fair shake when it comes to credit cards? Joining us tonight is the chairman of the Senate Banking Committee, Senator Chris Dodd of Connecticut. He sent a letter to Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke today asking that the Fed freeze credit card rates immediately. Senator, good work. We, need, we needed that. Here is what you wrote. We strongly urge you to utilize your emergency powers to put this rule into place immediately and protect consumers from these outrageous rate increases. Senator, do you think you're going to get a positive response to this? Well, we hope so. In fact, I was joined by uh, Senator, Senator Chuck Schumer uh, in that letter to the Federal Reserve, the Office of Thrift Supervision, and the National Credit Union Administration as well uh, to ban retroactive rate increases. Uh, our bill that we hopefully will bring up in the next couple of weeks does that, but there's an opportunity because the Federal Reserve has actually issued a rule to do just that, but you'd have to wait until July of next year for that rule to go into effect. Under what Ed is called the good cause provision yeah. of the Administrative Procedures Act, uh, you can, in fact, take immediate action. In fact, it's been used quite frequently since 2007 in a number of other areas. So we're asking these agencies to use those emergency powers to make a difference for consumers right away. We don't need to wait until 2010. These rate increases, as you point out, are been used in 70 million cases. One in four families have watched their rates go up in the last 11 months. And every indication that's going to continue for the next year and a half. So let's take action today and stop this procedure. So the, the issue here is you want to put the brakes on what they're doing until you can get the legislation that is going to be fair to consumers. Correct, now, but even it, it, it moves yeah. it up, so you can do it immediately. Yeah. You don't have to wait okay. until next year. Yeah, okay, now, what you want to see happen in the industry and what the Banking Committee has been talking about, are you in accord with what the President said today? Well, certainly his language. He didn't get involved in endorsing particular provisions. But I, I, I enjoyed hearing him saying, no more of this any time, any reason clause, which is used far too often to have rate increases go into effect. And, and certainly these late fees or fees that are unfair that are being imposed on consumers. It used to be the credit card industry made its money with, with interest rates. Lately, over the last number of years, they're making their money with penalty interest rates and, and fees, uh, penalty fees that they're imposing on them, as you pointed out in, in setting up this story. Yeah. We want to change a lot of that. I'm not against credit cards. You're not against them, yeah. Ed. They're a great tool for people in need. Well, but frankly, the industry is abusing consumers. They've been doing it year in and year out. I've been at it for 20 years. Finally, we have an opportunity. These are predatory lenders, in my view. They did it in the real estate market. Now they're doing it with credit cards. Well, uh, Senator, I'm, no, I'm not only not against against them. I don't know how to function without them. I mean, the American people, I mean, we just count on these. This is just the way of life right now, and I appreciate you doing what you're doing on this and calling for this immediate action. How soon do you think the Fed chair would move on this if he does? Well, he could move within literally days or less. Yeah. I mean, uh, they have the power to act quickly, and as I pointed out a minute ago, they've not been hesitant to use emergency powers. Yeah. Uh, as we've known over the last seven or eight months since this matter all became public back in September, yeah. they've been utilizing emergency powers to put in place actions to try and get our economy back on track. They have the authority. They can use it. They have used it. This is a classic moment where if they wanted to make a difference for consumers, they could do uh, put this ban on retroactive fa uh, rate increases immediately and really save a lot of money for a lot of people who are struggling today to keep their families together financially. Senator, great to have you on with us tonight. Thanks. Thanks so much. Senator Chris Dodd here on The Ed Show. All right. What Americans need to know is that the Congress is doing something about this. I mean, we heard the voices. The Congress, you know, you hear, oh, government doesn't do anything. Wait a second. Uh, the credit card companies are getting hit on three fronts right now. The president's in the face of the executives. You just heard what Senator Dodd is doing in the Senate committee. And last night, the House Financial Services Committee passed the credit card bill of rights by a vote of 48 